So what happens when your dog doesn't like being brushed? You can see with Pip, he politely says, no, I don't like that. And dog can, dogs can politely say, I don't like that by just moving away. And that's what Pip's doing. So I'm going to respect him because I don't want to get bitten. And if I respect Pip's whispers, he has no reason to shout and scream at me. What I'm going to do instead is actually teach Pip that the brush is a really good thing. And for me, I love ice cream. And so if there's something scary and you say, if you look at that mouse, I'll give you ice cream, I'll be like, okay, I can look at the mouse, I can manage that. So that's what I'm gonna do with Pip. I'm gonna say, Pip, can you look at the brush? And if you can look at it and be nice and calm, you get a treat. If he wants to back off, he can. And that's just giving him choice. He's learning, if I don't want to interact, I don't have to. And if Pip wants to come forward, a good boy, he gets a treat. Good boy, Pip. If he stays close to the brush, I'm gonna give him a few treats. Here, we're just building up a positive association with the treats and the brush. Good boy. Now, sometimes people say, but do I have to give him lots of treats? We get paid for going to work, so Pip just needs a way of getting paid. And this could be some of his dinner, his breakfast or his lunch. So if he's nice and calm and he's staying near the brush, I'm going to give him a few treats. And one of the things I'm going to try and do is I can see if I can use the food to get him to walk over the brush. So if I hold the brush like this, I'm going to see if he'll come and take the treat. And then I'm going to ask him to come underneath the brush. Ask him to walk this way over the brush. And I just want to see that he's comfortable. If he's slightly uncomfortable, I've just moved the brush higher. I've just moved him away and have him come back. Good boy. And one of the things I'm going to do is see if I can get the brush to go a little bit lower. So as soon as we get Pip motivated with his ice cream, he's like, okay, I can do this. If he wants to back away, he can always back away. Good boy, Pip. And there, his head touched the brush as he came forward. And we're going to see if we can get the brush a little bit lower each time. If he moves away, that's fine. Good boy, Pip. <laughs> if he wants to move away, he can. If he wants to treat, he just has to touch the brush. So he has to touch the brush rather than me touch him with the brush. Good boy. He's like, I don't like that, and that's fine. He makes a little choice. We let him work it out for a moment, and we'll try again. Sometimes when they have harnesses and le uh, collars on, you'll find if the brush touches the collar or the harness, it gets stuck. They don't like it. So when we do this exercise, I'd probably recommend take off the collar and the harness, and so it doesn't get stuck on the brush. Good boy. And if they don't like the bristles, you can get lots of different brushes with different types of bristles, or just turn the brush around and teach him to um, accept the touch without any bristles. And once he's good with that, we can start to change it.